Okay, it's about minus 20 degrees here in, in this part of Mongolia. It's not Ulaanbaatar. This is a place near Terej National Park. And I'm going to give this photo to a lady that I took the photo of in the summertime. When I was here in the summer, I didn't get a chance to give her the photo. So we are going to look for her in this theater where she works and see if we can give the photo to her today. Wow, look at this photo, her painting. Okay, so we're gonna go upstairs and maybe she's in here, you can hear her. Oh, there she is, teaching. I think maybe I have to give you a uh, digital, digital copy because the colors are a little faded. What kind of building is this? Um, it's uh, for great walls. It's like a Soviet Union. It's a like Soviet a, Union building. This yeah. is ah. The Russians are building for us oh. this theater. Maybe uh, 19, 19, or something like that. Yeah, I was wondering about like the architecture of the building. It yeah. looks kind of old. The building is 1958. Yeah. Where did the lady go? I think she's coming out. Oh. I guess she's drinking some coffee, mm. tea, and some small coffee. Oh, it's white out here. So this is a for mining people, miners. Ah, so look. This town is for miners, so the students who also go to this school are also miners? No. Now is that mining <coughs> is closed. Okay. And here is just population living. So here is the mining. All the miners here. Who are these people? The miners. Oh, miners. Oh. Wow. Oh, there's a cool little temple in the back. Well, not little, but big. You see you. This statue is just really sick. I don't know who that is, but. It's a really well-made statue. If you're looking at these buildings, you can't tell that people are actually like living in them. But as I've said before, like here in Mongolia, even if the buildings look kind of, um, you know, discarded uh, or in a, in a state of, of ill repair, I guess, like if you go on the inside, the buildings are still so cool. Like there are so many unique things to do and very, um, very uh, technologically advanced things you can find on the inside. So yeah, don't be fooled by the the building's appearance on the outside. And we better run because there's like a huge wolf dog coming up. But that's a nice contrast of color with the winter air and the winter backdrop. Like it's so white, snowing and just all the snow. I guess now we're gonna come have a little coffee or tea at this restaurant. Wait, this is a restaurant, karaoke place, and hotel. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay, so I guess we are gonna get some lunch here. And as I always say, English, right? So if you're traveling in Mongolia, you better eat when you get a chance to because there's no telling when you're gonna stop. <laughs> so even though we had a late breakfast, maybe we'll try to get some food now. <laughs> Isn't she so pretty? And she's wearing her nice outfit. <laughs> you know, this is so cool. So she can understand everything that I'm saying in English, but <laughs> but she uses the translator to reply, to respond. This is so cool. <laughs> See, watch this, watch this, watch this. Can you understand what I'm speaking in English? 
<laughs> see, see, she understands. <laughs> well, lunch has arrived. Oh, so cool. This is beef stew. Oh, there's a date in there. She's got some. Wait, it's beef or lamb? Beef. Beef. Uh, beef. Beef. Uh, yep. Beef. Cool. Oh, delicious. Wow, this is amazing because I came here during the summer and over just there where those cars are, that's where I like hoisted the eagles. You can actually see the stands still there. But now everything is covered with snow. This is crazy. Like, man, Mongolia really changes from season to season. Like, it's almost unrecognizable. Wow. Cousins, where are you going? Huh? I see you looking at me. <laughs> oh, they are fighting. Yo, let me get this one. Oh shoot, they're fighting. Oh snap. Okay guys, so we came back to Terej National Park here in Mongolia and we are going to do some dog sledding. Hello little guy. Are you my friend? Maybe he's gonna be one of the dogs that pulls us. Hello my friend. Okay, so we're gonna ride in this truck. Cool. This is man's best friend. So I remember when I came here in the summertime, this area was the river. Now it's completely frozen. And we're following that truck so we can get to the dog sledding. So I jumped in this truck because we can't go over this river or the part of the river here because it's nice and it's melting a little bit. So now I just hopped in the truck that was in front of us and we'll go directly to the dog sledding. Yo, we made it to the dog sledding area. Yo, look at all of these little puppies. They look so cute. Wow. And they're making a lot of noise too. Wow. wow. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, no, I know. Oh, look at this. Still dry? Yeah. Dry here? Okay. Oh, drive here. Okay, okay good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 This Okay. 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 Yeah, this is this is an amazing experience. Like even though the dogs stop going fast, I mean it's still so fun just to like be on a dog sled. Like I've I've never had an experience like this. It is definitely a reason to come to Mongolia in the winter time. And also I get to wear this cool fur coat. <laughs> so yeah, I'm loving it. Yo, it's minus 25 degrees here, but still it's worth it because <laughs> these dogs are so cute. There we go. 
can see them better. And they're so well behaved. Look at these beautiful horses. I love how they just follow each other. <laughs> He's like, whoa, don't come up on me like that. Looking for food. Yeah, I'm not going to go so close to them because... Have you ever been kicked by a horse? Last summer, I was almost kicked by a horse. Like, I had to jump off and duck very quickly because the horse was like, yeah, get off my back. <laughs> Yo, look at the herder herding in all of the, the horses. Yo, this is super cool. I don't know why I'm just so fascinated with like this kind of culture. Like the old, it's like old way of living with the new way of living, like mixed together. I don't know why I love that so much, but I do. Got some tourists over there. This guy here, he's just chilling. <laughs> he's like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Yo, these little kids were just ice uh, climbing, not ice sledding. Oh, this little girl, she's about to. Yo, <laughs> Oka almost fell down. He knocked me down. <laughs> Like, whoa, even these little kids are trying like extreme sports. Okay guys, listen to this. So you can hear, you can hear my feet under the snow, right? Like this. You can hear, you can hear, you can hear, here, right? So, listen, watch. the difference in sound there's like solid or hollow ice or something under here <laughs> yo this this Therese national park in the winter time is just as unbelievable as it is in the spring or summer like you can see you can just see so many things and it's amazing to to know that the animals are still surviving and the people are surviving and you know life just goes on you know just as it would if it were the summer like just because seasons change and you know i'm in my comfortable environment in korea where i can just be in my apartment all the time in the winter like people are actually out living life and you know having to survive off of their the land like really so Coming to Mongolia in the winter time just makes me realize that even more. Like, you know, not to be so dependent on all of my um, creature comforts, but you have to get out and to experience life and to see people live in the harshness of the elements. Okay, against my better judgment, I'm gonna try ice climbing up this wall. We'll see how this goes. If Jon Snow can do it, I can do it. <laughs> No? Nah, I'd rather be safe. <laughs> or maybe you can just put it out your phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Here we go.
Where am I going? Going up. To the top? Up to the top, yeah. I'm just... Right side huh? and left leg. Okay. Left, si uh, left hand and right leg. Up. Okay, I don't want to go anymore. I'm scared. Up, up. I'm scared. Can I go down? Can I go down? <laughs> you you want to give up? No, I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah, I don't like heights. Okay. Uh, you got both toes in there. Okay, you do uh, two uh, two that uh, hook one side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> Man, I don't like heights, so <laughs> I don't want to go all the way up there. I'm scared. <laughs> But good, good experience. <laughs> Yo, I forgot that we can also ride ATVs here. They have the big ones and they have the small ones. So I guess that'll be something to do for this summer when I come back. Go Mongolia! Yo! Our car got stuck trying to go up the hill. So Uka is looking for like a video to help us figure out how we can make the car navigate <laughs> up the snow. If not, it looks like Francois is getting out to push. <laughs> And that's the end of the video. <laughs> See if it worked. Oh no. If we can get to the snow, we'll be okay. Oh. We're going, we're going. Okay, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be something. We gotta go down that. Oh man. Mongolia, winter time. Fun, but can't be dangerous. Yo, we can't see anything like going forward. This is crazy. Like really, like the visibility is like 10% or something. So we're just gonna have to go slow and, and trust the lights in front of the car. Like gotta be careful in the winter in Mongolia. Be careful. 